have you been? we can put our differences behind us for science you monster well hello everyone and guess which won the vote go on go on guess go on go on go on if you can guess hello everyone all right let's get uh, my windows organized right Oh, actually, let's play a couple more of those because they are fun. Um, Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer, a professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life, but his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch. Spare no expense. And never cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him... And Actually, no, I was, I was, I was thinking to play Minecraft this week. And we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce... The Multiverse. Infinite Earth with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. Yes, you. Get back to work. Right, I want to work for Aperture Science. I've decided. I don't care about the nerve toxin, I want to work for Aperture Science. So right, hello everyone. Yep, Portal 2 won the vote. It was uh, a narrow thing. Uh, so, here we go. And hello Mega Racer. Uh, who we got? Chelsea Sauer, Chrissy Toff, Dragon Wolf Tamer, Gertie Simmers, Kate Foster, Kellyanne, what's her name, Live Audio, Mega Racer, Melody Flower, Sergeant Major Shizzy, the serious joke, and uh, Vertamitamunja. Yes. Hello, everyone. Right, let's make a start. New game. Right, for the record, I hate Wheatley. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Oh. I can just about do this. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. <laughs> this is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, <laughs> stare at the art. Yep. This is how aperture science would do it. You mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, Reflect briefly on this classical music. It looks like such an old TV now, doesn't it? Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Immediately. 
Any test subject are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? Assumed to have exercised his you get the oh, feeling oh, that uh, we haven't been woken up in a while. Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy, or well, just open the door. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> Why not open the door? Ha! Ah! Oh, God, God. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh, dear. This is only going to end badly, isn't it? Can you hear me? See how long you'd have to uh, make sleep in somewhere to make a dent like that in a memory foam mattress. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All Coward running away. Guards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, Yay! Look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. All right, think about something here, okay? Each one of these is probably a similar room with a test subject in it. Why should I be kept informed? You know about the life functions of the ten thousand bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh dear, let's go back a bit further, shall we? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. Yep, probably a good idea going back there. Whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight. All right, if anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. <laughs> okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. Yep. I think this is a docking station. This get looks ready. pretty much like my last attempts at tidying up. Hey, yeah. Uh... Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Look at the state of your room, young lady. Tidy up. Tidy up at once. There we go. Now, I'll be honest. You are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of uh -huh, gauntlet. Uh -huh. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay, the object of this game is, well, to start off with, currently, right, off since go. the last uh, portal, we've been dragged back into this sleeping chamber well, where we've been resting for nine, 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 nine days. That's and. The now we've been tasked by this guy after destroying the the testing the the sleeping area and knocking us through a wall to go and get a portal gun. After that, we will be tested in various ways, mostly involving portals. Oh, this looks very familiar. If you played the first Hello. game. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. 
However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These are free recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event yeah. of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, that's good to know. testing will begin in three, two, one. Nice. That's a portal, and there you can see is Shell. Um, we go out through one side, we come out through the other. Let's see if we can see where the blue is. Looks, there we go, there's the blue portal. So we come out through the yellow, uh, into the yellow, and out through the blue. I don't know if you stand halfway. So it's a really, really good particle effects. Okay, so. The, the object of this game is basically get from point A to point B and unravel the mystery by using portals. Yeah, otherwise it would be called not portal and that would be a totally different game. So, here we go. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even uh, in a dire emergency. This is exactly the same Cube though. Cube button based testing caused this emergency. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> there you go. We 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 please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Um you say potato, I say potato. And to be totally honest with you Your your orange is my yellow, I would say. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could have kept. I, I got to be honest with you that the, the, the chickens in Mod's house it was so boring. It took me about four hours to get all those chickens in there. And apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, how nice! Right. Oh, okay. I think this place has got a bit worn. There we go. Alright, let's get that. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't played this game in years. It's fairly obvious how to play this bit. And finally... This one. Yeah, I think this place has got a little bit run down since the last time we played this. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> you guys um, read any Douglas Adams, yeah? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and that. The Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Uh, oh, how the turret king! Uh, this I, I'm very, very much reminded. There was a bit in uh, in that where um, one of the characters gets stranded on an airplane, which has had all its passengers put into suspended animation because it can't get any lemon scented. Uh, towels, uh, uh, napkins rather, for uh, the passengers. Oh, here we go. Here's Wheatley again. A, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it's... Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Oh, okay. We can't swim. We're in fact walking on water. So, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. <laughs> Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Should you start playing Portal 2 as well? I would recommend it. It's a good game. 
And there we go, we have a portal gun. Well, what we have in here is a half of a portal gun. We can make one color portal. We can make the blue one. So from now on, the rest of the tutorial is going to provide us with the yellow. And what we have to do is locate a place we can put the blue in order to get through it. But before we go, let's have a look at this. Okay, we'll find lots of artwork around this game. Okay? And uh, it does seem that at this point, somebody is uh, raising Shell, our character, you know, almost up to godhood the way they've been making this art. The scientists and chaos, destruction, GLaDOS cake, destroying, uh, shell destroying GLaDOS there, the companion cube. Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. So now we can place a blue portal, which allows us to go out through the orange one. Right, on we go, on we go, on we go, on we go. So yeah, it's, it's since this, this port, since the last portal we played in this one, um, there has been something really nasty happened to society. But as this is the same universe as uh, Half Life, I'm assuming it's. Uh, all the problems that uh, Black Mesa caused by the Combine invading and taking over the world and things like that. And the Combine not having much use for portal testing. But still, let's move on. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Oh, that makes me feel so much more relaxed. Okay, so portal there we can walk through out there still a bit simple but uh, that's the point right now so look what we've been doing up to this point is we've been placing a blue portal and coming out of an orange but we can't do that now so we have to go to the next stage which is placing a blue and then walking in through the orange and out through it if you feel that a lethal now we know portals go both ways. Your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Let's face it, okay, after X many years, I think the storyline says it's 17 years. After 17 years, the cake is going to be a bit stale. Probably not going to want it. But And turrets? Yes, there will be turrets. And this game is actually far tougher. There we go. There's this one. There's the turret king. Uh, 